Welcome to your first time setup of the eSIM with your GLI Net router. Let's begin by inserting your eSIM physical card into the router, ensuring it's properly seated. Next, open your preferred browser and enter 192.168.8.1 in the address bar to access the GLI Net admin panel. Now, connect your device to the internet and ensure your GLI Net router has the latest firmware. Once upgrading to the latest firmware, navigate to Applications and then eSIM Manage to open the eSIM Manage application. Here, you can view the current status of your eSIM. The eSIM program consists of three sections, Current eSIM Status, eSIM Profile List, and Add eSIM Profile. The first section displays the basic information about your eSIM, including the EID, which is the unique ID of your eSIM card, and the ICCID and IMSI, which represent the active eSIM profile information. These numbers will vary depending on the eSIM profile in use. eSIM profile list this section provides details about the seed profile. For more information, simply click here to access additional details. The seed profile comes preloaded with one gigabyte of free data for the US and Europe, plus 100 megabytes of global data, valid for one year from the activation date. This data allows you to download other profiles globally. You can also monitor the usage of the seed profile, including remaining data, total data, and expiration date. This complementary data is provided to assist with the initial setup. If you run out of the preloaded data, or if it expires, you can continue using the service by clicking the top-up button, scanning a QR code, and purchasing additional data. The normal profile section shows how many eSIM profiles are available on your eSIM physical card. To activate an eSIM profile, click the Enable button. To remove a profile, simply click Delete. Add eSIM profile. This section allows you to upload and install new eSIM profiles. After purchasing an eSIM profile from an online store, you will receive a QR code. Click Add eSIM Profile to upload the QR code, which will then download and install the profile onto your router. We recommend two partner eSIM stores for your convenience, EIoT Club and Tuge. You can scan the QR code or click the link to make a purchase based on your needs. You may also choose to buy eSIM packages from other third-party providers. To add a new eSIM profile, ensure that your device is connected to the internet. Our router supports four methods of internet connection. Cellular, Ethernet, Repeater, and Tethering. As mentioned earlier, we provide complimentary preloaded data for your first-time setup and profile purchase. The eSIM seed profile is automatically activated, indicated by a green dot. Click Auto Setup to use data from the seed profile to connect to the internet. Once connected, you can purchase an eSIM profile from one of our recommended stores. After purchasing, save the QR code to your computer. Then click Add eSIM Profile QR Code Install in the eSIM Manage application to upload the QR code and click Download and Install to install the purchased eSIM profile. The download and installation status will be displayed on this screen. If you encounter any issues during the QR code installation, you can click Copy Log and email it to us at support at gl-inet.com for assistance. After successfully uploading the QR code, your new eSIM profile will be listed under Normal Profile. If you run into any issues while installing your QR code and accidentally close the interface, you can click Export Log for support to collect all the relevant information. Then, use Copy Log to email us at support at gl-inet.com for further assistance. Click Enable to activate your new eSIM profile. Now, we are currently enable this eSIM profile. Once enabled, navigate to Internet to confirm that your device is using the new eSIM profile to connect to the Internet. It may take a moment to establish the connection. Once successful, you'll see that the new eSIM profile is connected to the Internet. If you cannot connect at this stage, click Abort and then try Auto Setup again to connect. Returning to the eSIM Manage application, you can easily switch between profiles by clicking Enable next to the profile you want to activate. To remove a profile, click Delete. 
some customers might be confused about the difference between topping up the seed card and purchasing eSIM profiles from online stores. To clarify, GLINet offers preloaded data, 100 megabytes globally and 1 gigabyte for Europe and the US. These plans are more expensive and are intended for downloading a new eSIM profile when you arrive in a location without internet access. For regular usage, we recommend purchasing data plans from our partners, EIoT Club and Tuj, which offer more affordable options and support for a wider range of countries. Alternatively, you can buy eSIM plans from other third-party providers.